is invisible, yet its detectable health effects make it evident. While I may not be the foremost expert on this subject, new studies by international scientists prove that air pollution has killed about 3.3 million individuals worldwide, including 55,000 Americans. Now, I will begin by explaining what air pollution is. Air pollution is contaminated flying particles in the air that are caused by climate change and human activities. Air pollution affects the health of common people and our environment. Some of the causes of air pollution begin with climate change. The Earth's atmosphere contains greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. According to NASA, when sunlight strikes the Earth, surface, some of it is reflected back as infrared radiation. Greenhouse gases absorb some of the radiations and trap heat in the atmosphere. This is known as the greenhouse effect, and without this, Earth would be an extremely cold and inhospitable place. Human activities are greatly increasing the amount of greenhouses in the atmosphere. These uh, human activities include um, transportation, exos from cars, trucks, boats, power plants, industries. In addition, according to the EPA, the Federal Environmental Protection Agency, there are six major causes of air pollution in the United States, including ground level ozone, particulate matter, lead, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and carbon monoxide. I want to briefly discuss ozone and how it is created by human activities. It's basically a chemical reaction. It's when nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds are combined with the presence of sunlight and it's emitted directly into the air, but created by the human activities like the upsells for cars and industries contaminating the environment. So these human activities include, like I said, industry and energy supply, transport, agricultural practices, and household energy. Now, it comes the important part. Why it's so important to know air pollution? Why? Because it affects us. The short-term exposure of air pollution creates health effects such as typical respiratory illnesses like asthma, bronchitis, um, eye irritation, shortness of breath, headaches, irritations on throat and chest, and fever. And long-term exposure of air pollution include um, lung cancer, cardiovascular disease, and preterm delivery. According to Medical News Today, air pollution causes 29% of lung cancer and 9% of cardiovascular deaths, 24% of heart disease problems. So even though the statistical evidence, the numbers might seem low, it will greatly increase in time. So how to reduce air pollution and its health effects? Well, it's quite easy. Um, according to the World Health Organization, affordable public transport, pedestrian and cycle friendly networks, and going solar in your home are some of the solutions. Um, solutions that come to my mind include teachers, students, climate change, air pollution, and its effects. This will make individuals more aware of the situation. Another possible solution is putting tax on associations and businesses that contaminate the environment. This can make an impact as the taxes can be put to support the environmental problems. So while air pollution continues to grow, there are steps we can take. I believe it is of vital importance to understand climate change how it leads to air pollution and how it affects us. It is pivotal to know where diseases come from. In that way, we can research precautions and reduce the potential risk of getting sick. Now that you know brief facts of air pollution and its health effects, feel free to research more on the subject and be aware of your future actions. Um, thank you for your attention.